sound of my people. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> this is the real thing. This thing is so awesome. It runs so much better! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so awesome! Oh my god, it's got so much more torque than it used to. Like, it just. Whoop. And as of right now, the all wheel drive system's still unhooked because it was on the dyno. So, uh, yeah, we can do really good burnouts now. We wouldn't do such a thing. We wouldn't do such a thing. Okay, we might do a little bit of it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna definitely burn them pursuit tires off the back of this thing. On, the, on a scale of 10, that's like an 8 just because the driver's side wheel didn't spin. It'd be an 8.5 if he turned on the lights. Wait, you law enforcement? Was. What? Yeah. Can you tell me how good your Dodge Charger did burnouts? It didn't? We've done a good improvement. I think it's stuck. We're catching all kinds of perpetrators. Wow. Is I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's nice. Oh yeah, my god. Nice. It's good to get arrested in one of these. It's not bad of an experience, honestly. It's great. Dude, this looks like a limp dick in here. Whee! <laughs> I'm just gonna cut the flexi off. Out of my people. The computer said implausible, impossible value range on RPM. <laughs> <laughs> that just means we're doing too much power for the computer. It died. Hold on. Come on, baby. Stay around. What the freak? It keeps dying. Every time I try to lean into it, it dies. Unless I just really freaking mad it, like. Or in a won't idle. I mean, it wraps up good, but. Sounds like a nice car. Died again. I have to pull codes. It could be a tuning problem too. Like uh, maybe the tune is not exactly right on it. It sounds good up here on the top. Of it. But as soon as I want to go back down, it just. It don't like to idle. Is the thing. It wants to go fast. I don't want to go slow. It was fine when it was cold. When it got warmed up, I wonder if he ran it around, got it warmed up, and then made sure the tune is right then. Because it never died when it was cold, and then once it gets warmed up, if I let off the gas, it just dies. Hell, even if I put like 10 or 15% down on the gas, it dies. Guys, we're sitting out here because uh, the car just kicked into neutral and it wouldn't go anywhere, and I think we figured out why. It's actually a computer-related problem. It said engine over speed and implausible engine torque. It's implausible. <laughs> it's got too much. Anyway, but if we restart it and go back to drive, it should move. And it does. We might actually get back there and pull the plugs out of it because I think it kind of sounds like it's it, up on the high side blowing the spark out or something. The plugs and O2 sensors. Yeah, let's pull I the plugs out just a, because this thing was taken and running so rich there for the before we got the tune put on it. So we'll pull that, fix that, and then we'll be rock, rocking and rolling, right? Come here. Oh. These things weigh. 48 pounds a piece. Oh. 48 pounds of horsepower. So you're, you got twin turbos. <sighs> twin turbos are heavy. Move, 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 move. Where am I going? Where's this building? It's back to my table dancing for me. Trust me, these turbos were uh, significantly expensive, so. If any of you want to dance, I, I bring my own table. I'm, and they said to handle these gently, but did you see the bounce? That means it's a good turbo. Okay, in here somewhere is a massive turbo. <laughs> this is like reaching in to find your Christmas gift that you didn't get when you was 12 years old. And yes, I wanted a turbo at 12. Oh, damn. I'm holding it down. <laughs> What to say? 
Look at it! Oh my god! This thing is beautiful! Hold on, where's my knife? Dude, this thing is massive! Look, it's polished on both sides! Oh my god, they are so beautiful! Look, made in USA, they got the little American flag on the side. Damn, they were gorgeous. I knew they was gonna be pretty, but I didn't know they was gonna be that pretty. What's it say? Hold on. Caution. Read instructions before installing this turbocharger on your twin turbo cop car and catching every perpetrator inside. Damn, that seems oddly specific. Oh my god! It's just as beautiful as the other one. And them turbos are beautiful. Look at it. Look at them. I am going to take these home and use them as a mirror in my bathroom. So, ooh, what's this? These turbos had so much America with them. This is the Declaration of Independence. What? This is gonna look so cool. Hell yeah. I will say, you might be wondering where we're gonna put the turbos and uh, right there's where they're gonna stay. I'm gonna cut holes in the hood. We got the pop tea hood. So everybody can see the prime jewel. For those of you guys that didn't know, this Hemi engine right here. God, look, it's so pretty. I get just excited every time I pop the hood. Look at that. This Hemi engine right here is actually capable of 1,400 horsepower. But the problem is, it's not going to make 1,400 horsepower by itself. That's what them are for. God, look at them. They're so pretty. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a twin turbo, all-wheel drive Hemi cop car. That's going to have a turbo right here and a turbo right here, which we got some stuff to move out of the way. I first, see the problem. What's up? They are going to be anti-gravity turbos. They're going to float in. Yes, exactly. Then we're just going to take and we're going to slam the hood real... Oh, I almost caught my fingers. We're going to slam the hood real hard and just going to poke right out the top. It's going to be a good time. But what we're... Oh, <laughs> all right. This hood, I think that it's just, it's caused too much trouble. Let's just take it off. We don't need a hood where we're going. Hoods are not needed. It keeps the engine cooler. And look, how could you hide something this beautiful underneath a hood? This engine right here is fully forged. It's low compression. It's ready for boost. And we already got fuel injectors from the fuel injector clinic. Them guys were awesome. Sent us out injectors overnight. The only thing I've actually been able to get in a timely manner has been fuel injectors. I'm waiting on one or two other odds and ends because everything is like 10 to 20.